Oh my god. Here we go again with this woman, Frost. So, if you guys haven't heard the news, God of War Ragnarok is set to come out November 2022. And all I'm going to say is I am excited. I cannot wait for this game. And Corey Brolock, you are one brave man to have this game go up against Elden Ring. We'll see what happens in the VGAs this year. But, 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 but. Frost has to ruin everything like what she always does. She makes another moronic tape. I feel like God of War on a November release date is because they want to hit the holiday quarter. And maybe not because that's a reason launch day. Hope there's no crunch and everything is going to plan. Corey Barlog replied, I feel like we thought a lot of what the date is best and choose the best date for the team, the game, and the fans. So, what I got from this tweet is Frost is salty that God of War is coming out this year. Because the Xbox Series S and X has been a complete train wreck this year. Halo Infinite has imploded. All the Halo fans have turned on it. Starfield has been delayed, which is not a bad thing. That's good that they delay it and take their time on it. But right now, Xbox is dying right now with no games. They don't have anything this year. Now, I know certain somebody is going to come chime in this comment section saying that, Oh, but what would the PlayStation have this year? Yes, I am well aware. PlayStation, all they had was really Horizon, Sifu, and now God of War. But here's the thing. What does Xbox have? They have nothing. At least they're getting something in the PlayStation side. They're at least getting something. Nintendo fans are eating good. They're about to get Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and Splatoon 3. What are y'all playing on the Xbox side? Seriously. It's just like... What is the point of this tweet? And I'm the pros. I'm not sure you know if you didn't know about this, but God of War was delayed a couple of times. This game, alongside Breath of the Wild 2, was supposed to came out last year. It was meant to be God of War versus Breath of the Wild champion versus champion match in a way. But both games got delayed. So I can say that they're doing this and there's gonna be crunch. They're probably about done with it making this game. But that's not all. She then makes this. Glad to hear it with all the stories of Crunch. It's almost concerning where there isn't a delay these days. Once again, ignoring the fact that there that God of War wasn't delayed. But yes, this game was delayed on numerous times. I just don't understand this woman. Man, what are you? What, what What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? But that's not all. So, Poor Rock. This was a month ago, actually, and I had no idea about this. <coughs> Poor Rock made a joke about this happened, I believe, when Starfield got delayed. He said, "Who was it that said that Sony was dead man walking this year?" This guy said Frost, and she actually replied and saying. Literally, that's not what I sell. Now, unfortunately, I gotta use Geeks and Gamers video. Screw Geeks and Gamers, but but I mean the clip is still valid. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, Starfield's great. Obsidian. Yeah, Starfield's great. Come on. Twenty twenty two. I think they're gonna. Come on. Absolutely smoke Sony, uh, Sony until Sony get their act together. Right now, PlayStation is uh. Man walking. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, you, you. Yep. That's exactly what she said. First, this was a hi this is a hyperbole on a comedy show. Wow. So because it's a comedy show, it's right for you to act stupid. So so you have the right to make some of the stupidest comments in the world. Like, really? Secondly, the conversation leading up is how I tried to acquire a PS5 over a year, finally got one, and when looking for the games for there was nothing out. Meanwhile, I never owned an Xbox in my life. 
Okay, then why'd you make the... Why'd you said that then? If you didn't really ever own an Xbox, why in the heck did you just said that? You knew that... I mean, literally, Horizon was coming out just a month after you made the statement. You made the statement December of last year, so Horizon was already almost there. And right after Horizon came out, Seafood came out. Oh my god. But it gets worse. But go off and keep fitting Sony's you know what down your throats. This is the I just want to remind everyone that this was the woman that made a big controversy back in January. She was saying on how uh, toxic gamers are ruining everything. You know, people are being too. You know, M Olivia Munn was not was not hired to be ple pleasant on your eyes. Look at this. She's acting like a complete woman child, a complete temper tantrum five year old girl. She can't handle that she was caught. Like that's her. There's the receipts, and it's coming from the guy that I don't like. I don't like DC Gamers. I think he's complete trash. But you know what? You said that. Nobody pointed a gun at your head and made you say, you said it. And you can't handle it because you've been proven wrong. You've been proven wrong. I just, how's this woman? I just don't understand. I, I just don't get it. I just don't get how these people, these people get paid. These people get paid for saying this stuff. These people get paid for saying this stuff. Oh, I'm done. I'm getting heated right now. It's storming like crazy. Hopefully, there's no tornado coming. Uh, I don't even know if maybe Frost did this to me. Oh, I don't know. All right, guys. Take it easy. I'll be making videos tomorrow on Southeast Game Exchange. Hi. Let's go.